Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today we are going to be building the uh, Villa Von Trapp or the Von Trapp Villa. I'm not really sure which one it is, um, but either or. It is the house of the Von Trapp family or the subject family in the movie slash musical The Sound of Music. Um, the Sound of Music is actually like a personal favorite movie of mine. Um, it's like I've I've been watching it since I was like really little. Um, the villa is actually um, it's actually kind of it, it it has like a lot of like um, I don't know how to describe it, but it, so the villa is located in Austria in uh, Salzburg. That's where the Von Trapp family lived. And for those of you who haven't seen The Sound of Music, it is about a a nun Maria who goes to live with this uh, family um, where there are seven children, there are five girls and six, or no, five boys and two, it's five girls and six, and two boys, sorry, and she is their governess, and a governess is just like a fancy nanny, I guess. So, um, anyways, they don't have a mom because their mom, like, passed away, and they just live with their dad, who is this kind of, like, He's kind of like a hard ass. <laughs> he's um, he's like a, a navy general, and he like makes them march around, and like you'll kind of like see his personality reflected in the house because he is really like stoic, and like my kids have to march and like wear uniforms, and like it's yeah anyways <laughs> but so the house is kind of like colonial, but it's not really colonial because it's in Germany. So, I mean, not Germany, Austria. So I don't know if something that is in Austria can be qualified as colonial. Um, I guess I'll describe what I'm doing in the build right now. Right now I'm just, um, I'm building like the structure. The structure is kind of, like the main house is really just like a box. The, um, but that's kind of like, I guess that, that kind of reflects the style of, I guess, the person who, uh, or like the Captain Von Trapp, the person who, who I guess built this house for himself. It's kind of just very like clean lines, very to the point. Um, you know, right now I'm placing the windows. The, the house is actually like way more ornate than this, but you know, you can only do so much in The Sims. And it has like this kind of that like, I don't know what it's called, but like, it's like, it's like what I'm trying to place right now. Um, but it just, I don't, I didn't, I sized it up and it, and it didn't look great because it didn't really fit on top of the, on top of the, uh, on top of the, like, the little outer thing that comes out of it. So then I just decided to use half walls and it really bothered me that all the other half walls kind of went up in like nice increments and then the last half wall was like way taller than the other half walls. So I just put that little... Like, it looks like a bell tower, but there's no bell inside um, to, you know, kind of cover it up. At this point, I'm deciding on the color. The house is actually, like, very yellow at first. Because, like, in the movie, you don't really realize how yellow it is because, you know, you're just, you're, you're not watching it. Sorry if you guys hear something in the background. That's my sister. She's just coming in my room. Anyways, so um, at this point, I'm putting on the trim. Um, <laughs> I don't even know um, what I was trying to do here. But, um, the trims in The Sims 4 can be quite annoying, um, but I guess I just had to, you know, sally forth. Um, the, yeah, so I had to redo the kind of, like, detail bit on top of the roof. Um, I guess I can tell you a little bit about The Sound of Music, because, I mean, I'm not, like, an expert, but, like, I know quite a lot about the movie. So, um, I, so the movie takes place in, like, pre-World War Europe, so... Um, so there, so Austria, oh, I can't really, I, my social teacher's gonna be, like, so disappointed in me. And, um, anyways, <laughs> so, sorry, my social teacher's gonna be so disappointed in me, I just got a text and I was looking at it, that's rude. Anyways, that, um, I don't really remember, I know something happened to Austria, because, like, they fought in World War One. I. I think they were, like, broken down and, like, the monarchy was established, but... Um, at this point, like, in the movie, the, like, Hitler is kind of taking over in, uh, Germany and, like, the, you know, Western Germ Western Europe. So, um, there's, like, this big conflict between whether or not the Austrians should join the, 
you know, join the Germans, and they end up too, but, like, the Von Trapps are very, like, we're Austrian, I don't think we should be part Germany, like, very nationalistic, and they're very, like, at least in the movie, they're very anti-Hitler. I later found out that the, the Von Trapp family wasn't as anti-Hitler as they are portrayed in the movie, but, you know, let's just, let's just pretend that they were, so we can kind of be... It was like a happy thing. So um, at this point, I'm just kind of looking because there are these like, um, like what I'm putting on right now, they're like these decorative like accents, kind of like crown molding, but on the outside of the build. And I use these like panels that came with the Sims 4 Get to Work. And they're technically made out of chrome, but like when the lights, like with the sun shining directly on the, uh, the bills, you can't really tell and they just look white. So I was like, you know, why not? Um, at this point, I'm choosing a foundation. The foundation, I was, like, surprised, but after doing, like, research and looking at pictures of the actual house, it's just, like, a plain, boring gray. So I was, like, ugh, whatever. <laughs> and, um, and doing the sides of the build, and, like, I, there were so many pictures. If you go online and you Google the Von Trapp Villa, there are so many pictures of the front and the back, but, like, no pictures of the side. So I kind of just had to, like, you know, roll with the punches and, like, be, like, eh. You know, what am I going to do? And, oh, so at this point, I'm deciding what I want to do with the back because, um, because in the movie, they have, like, this, this, like, terrace. And, like, it's really cool because it leads right into the river and, like, that's where, like, one of the parts of the movie is, like, the kids fall into the river with Maria because their, like, father comes home and they're really excited. Anyways, so I, after, you know, doing my research, I realized that balcony doesn't actually exist like it it um like there wasn't actually a balcony like it just has you know a backyard and the backyard is like really not very landscaped so really the whole house is not very landscaped like at all it's very like minimal um like you'll see earlier when I do the courtyard in the front there's like two trees and a fountain in the middle and that's it and I mean like not to like I don't want to accentuate the stereotype, but, like, I guess Germans are very, like, you know, clean lines. And if you're from Germany, I'm so sorry. That's not true at all. It's just, like, a stereotype. And that's actually really bad because, like, I, you know, being gay, I, you know, feel when people are, like, oh, stereotypes are just so, like, eh, whatever. Let's move on. Anyways, so right now I'm adding the columns to the build. And, um, yeah, so one of the one of the cool parts about the house is it has, like, molding on all the corners and that's what I was kind of trying to aim for with the columns except the columns aren't like really like thick enough so I just used different colored wallpaper and I thought it looked it turned out well at the end um let's see what am I doing now oh, I might just be look so I have I have oh I'm putting on more of the kind of crown molding I have my lap when I was building this I had my laptop out right next to me so that I could look at you know the pictures of what I was doing at this point I'm building the gazebo which um I, I wanted to just have it like open like that, except you couldn't put a roof on it <laughs> that way. So I was just like, oh, whatever. I just have to put stairs there and like use a door and like just do regular windows and things. Because um, this gazebo is actually where in one part of the movies, the Captain Von Trapp's oldest daughter meets Friedrich, the delivery boy. And, you know, they sing 16 going on 17. And it's like really romantic. And I'm like, oh, feels. And I was, I was like, oh, I want that to happen to me. Except I don't have a gazebo at my house. And I don't live in Austria. And people don't deliver telegrams by bicycle anymore. So uh, it's probably not going to happen. <laughs> Anyways, so um, this roof thing from get together is really cool. I use it all the time when I'm building more traditional builds because the roofs in The Sims 4, the roofing tool is so much easier than The Sims 3, don't get me wrong, but we're really limited when it comes to like what we can do with the roofs. Like there's not that many styles. So that tool actually like, like not that tool, that object just like real MVP in terms of creating like more traditional roofs. Um, at this point I'm creating the courtyard. One um, really cool feature, at least in the movie, I don't know if this is about true about the real house. There weren't, um, there, the pictures of the real house were kind of weird, so there weren't many like 
uh, excuse me, there weren't any, like, very good pictures of the house, only, like, the front and, like, the back, but none of, like, the actual details. So I kind of had to take my, like, own artistic liberty when designing that part. So, um, but in the movie, at least one defining characteristic of the Von Trapp estate, or Von Trapp villa, was that it had this, like, ginormous courtyard. Like, the courtyard was, like, bigger than the house. So I tried to, like, you know, incorporate that into that, and I originally was just going to have, like, it be the inside, and then I kind of made it a little wider, and at the end, I was, I was happy with how it turned out. I really liked the mix of the gray and the yellow. I thought the contrast between the two colors was, you know, really interesting. Um, in the movie, there was a fountain in the middle of the courtyard, except um, I don't have, like, one of the best fountains in The Sims 4 comes with the Romantic Garden stuff, and I don't have that one, so, and I really want to get it, but, like, I've just been kind of, like, lazy and don't want to order it, so, um, that has, like, a really big fountain, and it's really cool, and, like, The Sims can sit on it and things. I don't have that fountain, so I just used that fountain, so I used the fountain that came with Get Together, and it's a really great fountain, except it's, like, kind of tiny, so I sized it up, and, um, it, you know, it looks much better once it's sized up. At this point, I w it wouldn't let me size it up for some reason, but, you know, there it is. Um, I think, yeah, at this point I'm just decorating the outside. As I told you before, the architecture, I mean, the uh, landscaping of the, um, you know, of this villa is really, like, minimal. That's kind of like a theme you'll see throughout this entire house is, like, the upstairs bedrooms are also just, like, very minimal. And, like, I guess it kind of plays into the character of the man who owned this house was that he was a Navy admirable, or admirable, no, admiral. You know, he was a captain. <laughs> he was a Navy captain. And he, um, you know, and his, he's very, like, just cuts clean lines, like, this is what we have to do. Yeah, but anyways... So I'm starting with the landscaping, as I said, very minimal. One cool characteristic I remember from the movie was that, like, when they go out to the, to the, um, to the courtyard, or not to the courtyard, to the gazebo, there's, like, trees everywhere, and they kind of, like, lean up against them and, like, sing their little song, and I'm like, oh, okay, so I gotta incorporate that somehow. Um, one really cool thing in the house in the movie was the opening had the two staircases, the left and the right, and then it kind of, like, sunk down. Um, after, like building this all the way through, I realized that, um, I realized that the entire house is sunken down, but it was, you know, it was kind of too late to do that after I built, like, the entire thing, so I was like, you know what, I'll just roll with the punches and do whatever I have to do. This was really a pain in my butt because I, there, because it has, like, um, kind of, like, a balcony going all the way around the upper floor, and, um, I tried to, like, do it with, like, making the hole already there, and I just realized that wasn't going to work, so I just, you know, re like, I, I re I re, I did a rewind, and then I just decided to do it again. Um, the, the opening door, you'll see in the screenshots, like, the opening to the, like, to the house is really beautiful. Um, one thing I really didn't like was that when you're on the second floor, the stairs kind of glitch out, which is unfortunate, but, um, you can see it from the first floor, so I guess it's okay, I guess. Um, at this point, what am I, what am I doing? Um, at this point, oh, so at this point I think I start to decide on, um, what color I want the walls to be. I have probably just taken, cause, um, while I was building this, I told you I was looking at my laptop and I googled, like, the Sound of Music house inside so that I could, like, see what the house looked like. See, as you can see up here, there's, like, the wraparound balcony and there's, like, a bunch of columns, like, all the way around. And, um, this was really cool because it's something I've never really done before. Like, I know you could do it, but, like, I've always kind of done my balconies overlooking, you know, staircases a little differently. Um, oh, this is, you'll see, it took me forever because, um, I kept on trying to, like, raise up because... For some reason, the grid wouldn't appear over the balcony, probably because I removed the floor. But other than that, it, but, but because of that, the light wouldn't go, you know, where it's supposed to on the ceiling. So I had to raise it up, and it and I had to make sure that it was at the right height. So I'd have to raise it up and then check it. And every time I would check it, if it was too low, I had to raise it up some more. But every time you go to raise it up again, it drops back down to the floor. So it was a long process. Um, at this point, I'm starting on the, you know, the main place. Um, I really, I want it, I, I, I wish that the Sims could, like, I guess, jump up to the doors, but that's not realistic, or they also can't do that. So, but, um, the staircases took up so much of, like, the interior space of the sunken balcony that I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? So I decided I was just going to, you know, push in a little bit into the door so that I could have 
the, you know, have the have the staircases and have the sims be able to get that way. So at this point, I was looking for a white, white, a white wallpaper to um, match the one that they use in the movie. Those like sconces that I have on the walls that are kind of like, they almost look like they're the, the, the machines that kill like bugs, like mosquitoes you put outside, those go away. I don't really know what I was thinking, um, but yeah, they go away. Um, at this point, I think I'm gonna start on the decoration. Um, there, uh, so the, so the decoration of, or the furnishing of the Von Trapp Villa is very minimal, but it's also very traditional. I guess that goes with this house, with, I mean, the family lived in this house in the 19, you know, early, late 30s, early 40s. So yeah, obviously the, um, architecture and design would be very traditional. Um, one, uh, one very, one funny um, memory I have of watching this movie is that um, when all, when Maria first enters the house and she's like looking around and it's like this huge cavernous mansion and like, you know, it's very different compared to like living in the Abbey, which is another name for a church, I think. I don't know, I'm Jewish, so <laughs> I don't really know that much about churches. Anyways, but, um, so she's like looking in this house and she's like looking around and it's like this huge, beautiful mansion and... Then uh, she's she's like she walks into like what will what I'll later furnish is the ballroom and then like Captain Von Trapp comes up to her and he's like what are you doing and she's like oh my god I'm so sorry I didn't mean to be like snooping in your house so oh at this point I realized that when I accidentally painted one of the whole rooms inside the house it painted the outside so I had to go back and paint it yellow but anyway so then once the kids come in and Mr. Or Captain Von Trapp introduces them they all come in and they like he he blows a whistle and they come in and they're like they 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 like march they're like they're like I'm gonna I'm gonna march but you're probably not gonna hear it's like they're like my name's Brigitte or like Luisa or Friedrich and that's like their names and then one of them is like and then once their their dad leaves Maria's like I need to know your names again and then they're like, and they're like, hi, my name's Brigitte. I'm nine, and I think your dress is the ugliest I've ever seen. And I just remember seeing that, and I was like, oh my god, this little girl is me. <laughs> so at this point, I'm furnishing the ballroom, and I didn't really know what to put in the ballroom, because the ballroom is just that. It's like an empty space for people to dance in. So I put a lot of, like, little, like, ottomans around to, to kind of, like, if people, like, I guess, if you, I don't know, if you're really tired from dancing the waltz or whatever, <laughs> then um, you can sit down. And all those pictures on the way, that's actually like a direct thing from the movie and I was it was pretty accurate because, um, you know, they, I just remember that like having like really ornate walls and that was the closest I could come to that. This is the study and um, originally I thought it was just going to be like the, you know, the captain's like personal study and that was going to be it. Um, but it turns out that the room is, like, really bloody huge, so I was like, uh, you know what, why don't we just have this be, like, a library, too? So it kind of has his own little, like, thing in there, but then it also is starts as, like, a library, and I later put, like, two, um, like, two, like, desks back-to-back, -back. and I was, it was really cool, it was a really cool idea that I had about putting the bookshelves on either side of the desk, you'll see I'm doing it right here, and that kind of, like, I don't know, created its own personal space, it kind of reminded, it was very, like, college or university-like, I mean, obviously, if your, if your university library looks like this, you obviously go to, like, Harvard or Yale, and it's, like, some really nice university, but, um, you know, I just, that reminded me of that, um, this is just kind of, like, a little sitting room to kind of go outside into the, um, in you know outside into the backyard where you can sing a song or dance in the rain if you want to um I tried to keep because one of the main things I noticed when I was doing my research of the house is it's very white like the the house is very this is where I removed those like weird lamps that I was just like what was what was I thinking um but I guess you know I think why I like those is because some of the lights give off different color light and like, some of them are more like a, like an orangey light, some of them are more like a white light, and I wanted to keep it like white, like very stark, very, you know, like, oh my god, my eyes. <laughs> but, um, and I know you can change the color of the light in, like, live mode, but I'm too lazy to do that, so I wasn't going to. I'm starting on the kitchen, and the kitchen is ginormous. Um, 
which, um, but I, I tried to go with a very like traditional, like I, I didn't use any modern appliances because again, this was made in the 1940s and I don't really know when microwaves were invented, but I'm pretty sure they were invented like the 50s and the 60s and they did not have them. That little table, I guess, was for like the slaves, not the slaves, that's so bad. I mean like the servants, because in the movie there was like the housekeeper, like I don't know if it was a housekeeper, but it was someone who... I don't know, it was, it was just someone who ran the house and then like the butler guy and they were both kind of cold to Maria. <laughs> Maria is the governess, as, as you remember, call. And I was like, oh, maybe that's where they eat dinner. But like, um, you know, I thought, you know, it's, it's a cool little thing I could add because again, the kitchen was so ginormous and there was not much to put in here, especially when you don't have like microwaves or, you know, stuff like that. Um, I think next we're moving on to just like a sitting room and I drew my sitting room like inspiration directly from the movie because um, in one part of the movie this woman, the Baroness comes, well and the Baroness is like such a shady lady, like she is, she, she's trying to get with um, Captain Von Trapp and like it's so obvious that that Captain Von Trapp and Maria are like falling in love, but the and the Baroness knows this, but like she wants to get with Captain Von Trapp, and it's like not even a money thing because the Baroness is like she's a widow, she's a widow, so like she has like all this money from her like Baron husband that he like passed away, but she just like is a shady lady and wants to be with um the captain, and like in one part of the movie that she just like goes up to Maria and she's like, you need to go home. And, <laughs> and like, so Maria like runs back to the Abbey in like tears and she like doesn't even say goodbye to the children and like she shuts herself in her room and it's like really sad and then like after a while, I don't know, I can't, oh yeah, you know what, this is what happened. She goes and talks with like Mother Superior, which is like, I don't know, like the male, the woman version of a priest, I guess, I don't know. But, um, Anyways, so she goes and talks with him and she's like, she's like, go back to the house, child. And then she goes back and it's like a happy ending. So this is the dining room and I, um, I know that it's, a lot of people don't like this, but I, you know, I really like putting the tables together. I think that that looks okay. Some people really don't like it. I don't have, I wish I had the, um, the restaurant stuff pack because that came with, um, like cloth tables and that. And they they look a little better when they're pushed together, but you know what are you gonna do? Anyways, so um, the dining room is actually like a really funny um, part of the movie because when Maria first comes in and she's you know going to sit with the children, the children put a pine cone on her chair and she like sits down and she's like oh my god! And then I remember trying to do that to my mom all the time and I was like I, it never worked. <laughs> this has never worked. So now I'm starting on the bedrooms, and the bedrooms are really big. And one cool thing, because I was, I was, when I was building this, I was following a floor plan that I found on the internet that was, um, it was half inspired by the actual house and half, like, inspired by the movie, because the movie, they obviously, I think they used the exterior of the house for the movie, but, like, they didn't, like, they didn't actually film in the house, because the house actually, I think, runs as a hotel right now. But, um, one really cool or different... It wasn't... I mean, I personally wouldn't like this, but one different thing that I found was that all the children slept together, and, like, I guess that was kind of common in the 40s. Like, I just remember in the movie Peter Pan, like, all the children slept together in the nursery, and, like, the big thing was that, like, Wendy didn't want to move out of the nursery. So... Yeah. <laughs> so like all the all the children slept together. So there's just like a bunch of beds in in each room, and also they also have like a shared hall bathroom, kind of like, kind of like a like a kind of like college really. <laughs> but um, yeah. So this is this is Fourline Maria's room, and it's 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 one of the nicer rooms. Um, the room directly next to hers, I I thought would be like maybe like the the butler's room or something. And it's kind of like shabby chic sort of. I mean, not really, it's just kind of, like, old and decaying, <laughs> but, um, I don't know, it kind of had, like, a cool little charm to it. Um, this is the, the girls' room, and, um, I wasn't really sure how I wanted to arrange the beds, so, um, I go through a bunch of different things, and this is the layout I decide on, and, um, I put, like, a dresser in between each, because I thought, you know what, there's a lot of girls that probably have like a lot of clothes between the five of them and I put like I thought maybe like the younger girls to sleep over towards that side I really didn't know what to put in their rooms because again like I was really limited with like you know electronics and like things like that because like in a more modern house or like in 
like a traditional house that's like set in like today's times I could put like a computer or a TV or something especially if you have like this level of wealth and but they're just like I couldn't and I also didn't know if showers existed in the 1940s so I just did like a bunch of bathtubs and I'm pretty sure your sims can get into those bathtubs because I left a space between them but I'm not sure but um yeah but I'm not sure. I'm sorry. I got a text and I'm, 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 not, I'm ignoring you guys. That's rude. Anyway, so this is the boys' bathroom. And yes, as cliche as it is, as it is I went with blue and pink for the boys' and the girls' bathroom theme. The bathrooms are kind of minimal. I really didn't know what to put in them. Again, this is the boys' room. And it's the same exact size as the girls' room. Except there's only two boys. So I was like, oh, what do I put in here? So I just gave them double beds. And then... Yeah, so I just gave them double beds. And I was like... You know, I was like, you know what, whatever. They can just have, like, a desk or something. I'm pretty sure the two boys were, like, older, so maybe they, like, needed their space, or I don't know. They were, like, studying. That's why they have a lot of bookshelves. I don't know. This is the captain's room, and... Oh, no. I'm sorry. We're not moving on to that room yet. I wanted to add it, because I really... This is not how I usually furnace, like, just such empty rooms. And, like, the hallways are so empty, but, like, looking at pictures of the house, it was empty. Like, there wasn't any, like stuff in there and I guess it was because like his wife died so there wasn't like a woman's touch and I know that's really sexist because like men can have great taste too but I don't know and th so this is this is um this is the the admiral the captain's room <laughs> I'm never going to learn how to say that word anyways this is the captain's room and it's a it's it's a lot I mean it's the nicest room in the house like if I had to pick a room in this house I would definitely pick this room and um oh I'm really kicking myself in and the curtains to any of these rooms because I like was so like conscientious about putting curtains downstairs um at this point I'm just doing a little more furnishing um but yeah the build's is over so these are the floor plans um please like and subscribe if you like this video um right now I've been putting out a video like every day because I put one out yesterday but that probably won't be the case um I will probably you know put one out maybe twice or three times a week but um you know, feel free to like and subscribe. Uh, thank you so, so much for clicking on this video. This is my second video, and I think it went pretty well. Um, but, you know, have a wonderful day, and just remember to stay evil.